Hello dear wonderful friends, welcome back here at Laarni's Kitchen and Food Creations. Tonight I am going to share with you our simple supper. So please come join with me as I'm going to cook. What are the very basic ingredients that we have? I have here slices of uh, ginger, uh, chopped garlic, red cooking onions, red pepper bell or atzal, and nice firm Roma tomatoes. I have here this little sili or sealing labuyo, hot red chili, and these are uh, freshly washed um, spinach. I also have these two pieces of fried fish, salai salai, we called it salai salai. What are the very basic a savoring enhancer that we will be using okay i'm going to use black pepper and this is mushroom seasoning this one i pour the mushroom seasoning here and i am going to use 100 percent pure vegetable cooking oil approximately five tablespoons and we're going to preheat our old kawale or kalaha so might as well use uh, this uh, very typical kalaha <laughs> or kawale. Okay, <clears throat> you can use whatever cooking oil you are used to. You know, simply you can always go ahead. This is our kalabasa or squash. This is what we call butternut squash and long squash. This is upo or uh, long squash. <clears throat> Okay, these are very, very basic ingredients that we have, and it's very, very easy to cook. Okay, I'm going to saute my ginger. I want my ginger to be a little toasty, and then uh, give a little stir, and then I'm going to add my red onions and my garlic. Okay, there you go. Saute this for a few seconds, maybe 20 seconds and the thing doesn't really take that long after which i'm going to add my red peppers and my tomatoes or nice fresh roma tomatoes beautiful beautiful okay now <clears throat> after which i'm going to add black pepper adding salt and black pepper depends upon your taste buds okay then our uh, mushroom seasoning Actually, friends, my black pepper, it's empty already. I don't realize. So I have here my uh, black pepper. Okay, there you go. Okay, and after which I am going to add my calabasa or squash. Okay, our calabasa or squash has been added. I'm going to add a little bit of water. Adding water depends upon you. <laughs> okay, there you go. I will add a little bit more. Okay, then I'm going to add cover or lid. So simply set this aside and cook this for two minutes. Depending upon the slices of your calabasa or squash. Okay, wonderful friends. Come, let's check. Okay, the last but not the least ingredients that we have are the following. We have here the fried salai salai fish and the upo or the long squash. Okay, now this is ready. Once the squash is tender, we're going to add our upo and together with the fried fish. So if you're a vegetarian, uh, you can eliminate the fish actually. You no, know, you don't really need to add fish. I just use the fish because I have that leftover fish from last night. Okay, there you go. So I'll have to cover this. And once it's done, so this is our spinach and with this one red chili. Friends, I want to make sure that I have my rice ready. You know, rice is very essential to us Filipinos. <laughs> rice is life. 
Remember friends that cooking and baking, they always make fun and easy here at my little kitchen. Thus it gives you the ideas on what to prepare for your family's next meal. My goal in my little kitchen is simply for fun, sharing and learning. Okay, wonderful friends, it's about time I have to add my spinach or my greens. And so just simply try to mix it slowly and gently. And after which I'll have to turn off my flame. Voila! Thank you, wonderful friends, for watching Laarnis Kitchen and Food Creations. Stay tuned for more cookings and bakings here at My Little Kitchen. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you the next time. This is your home cook, Buddy Laarni, saying you, Dag hanggang salamat. Dali manihapon at tagigutom na biya ko mga ka-friendship.